formation. Second down and eight. Second back throw. The ball is loose. I believe Fresno State has recovered, and they have. So something that UNLV could ill afford to do. Key John Murphy carried it and coughed it up. Go to that wishbone. That was against UOP. Byron Jones flies in for the touchdown. Going over the top. Foot to the left side. Ricky Wills deployed to the right. Blitz, Bowens is coming from a safety spot. And a delivery sack as Price was able to unload. But Craig Bowens was flying in. From the 32-yard line, it's a 42-yard attempt out of the hold of Keenan McArdle. It's blocked. James Williams blocked it. Well, Jim Cook is in a slump. He missed. He made one of four kicks last week. This ball was bobbled by Keenan McArdle, so I don't think you can really blame Jim Cook on this. The bobble caused a little mix-up in the, in the exchange there. And they're looking for Williams, who's wide open. Tyrone Carter had to belt him out of bounds, but it's a big gain for the Bulldogs in Rebel territory. Well, and Mark Barsotti here to Anthony Williams. Barsotti does a good job of holding onto the ball and wait on the zone for the zone to clear. Williams is right there for a 21-yard 20, gain. 49, and they're faced with a first and 20 now. And Barsotti, good protection. And he's looking long for Craig Jones' tight end. Touchdown, Jones! His second career touchdown earlier this year, he got one against New Mexico State. But this is a 49-yarder. And I thought he pushed off. Well, and Mark Barsotti does a great job here. He gets some pressure. You can see him get back in the pocket. He's got plenty of time. Feels Doc Wise up the middle, moves to his left. Makes a good throw. Charles Anthony, number four, loses the ball and turns around. We'll see if there's a push off. You saw the hand go out, but I don't think you call that a push off. Left before halftime. Tony Rines, formerly of Arizona State, boots away a tremendously high kick. And Andre Alexander has it at his 14. 30. And he's run out of bounds near the 38-yard line by Gerald Robinson, a reserve defensive back. Double score. And it's Murphy. Cuts back right near the goal line, and he's apparently just short. Bowens hit him there, and Rodgers secured the tackle, but now they're going to roll it as a touchdown. 20. From the 18-yard line, Telford, wide open is Alexander at the 35. Andre Alexander, that's his 28th catch this year for Fresno State. State. Only 25 seconds left. The out pattern to Dwight Pickens, and Pickens is out of bounds at the 43-yard line of UNLV. Terrence Holly will hold from 44 against the wind. He hits it well, and he connects from 44 yards. And it is Fresno State that builds on their cushion. From 14 now to 17-7. And that penalty. And Telford's going to throw on third and one, and wide open is Pickens. And Pickens is still in bounds. And Pickens is into UNLV territory. Dwight Pickens. They go to the three-back formation. That's Kyle Toomer in the middle. With Murphy on the left and Brightman on the right. And it's Murph again. Touchdown. Quarter. 
Buckle your seatbelts. We got a good one. Stay home for this one on prime ticket. Fresno State and UNLV. And it's Myron Jones to the outside where he's explosive. Look out here. Myron Jones is to the UNLV 37-yard line. Myron Jones with that great speed does a great job of getting upfield. The Rebels that time were trying an all-out blitz, which leaves that middle open. They had the perfect play called the draw with a player like Jones and that speed. They'll run the draw, and you'll watch the, the Rebels try to get pressure outside. They bring the outside linebackers, inside linebackers drop for coverage. Jones makes the move to the middle and breaks it to the outside, and watch the acceleration. There have been times this year Myron Jones has not started only because the coaching staff won 12. Alexander wide to the right, Pickens deployed to the left. <laughs> Telford on the delay. And it's Adrian Cooks who goes in for a touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown scamper by Adrian Cooks. Well, and there's Jim Sweeney football. He made the mistake throwing the ball. He came right back, mixed the pass in a little bit, but it's the run that got the Bulldogs in the, in the end zone. We'll watch the screen here. Adrian Cooks, wide open field. The spread formation spread the Rebel defense out. Usually down in this situation, you're in man-to-man -man coverage, which Wide to the right side. Pickens deployed to the left. A little swing pass to Skipper. 50. Good move at the 45, 40. Down that sideline to the 34-yard line. Covered up by Charles Anthony, but it's another first down for Fresno State. Well, and that's just the quick screen, and that's designed to get the ball. It's almost like a long handoff to get the ball to a running back like Kelly Skipper. He did a great job. Watch the move that he makes on Avery Miller. This is just a quick drop and the quick screen to Skipper. Watch Avery Miller, 39, come in. He just moves to the inside and runs right around him. Great run by Skipper. Look at his balance. Kelly they run out of that wishbone with Cooks. The fullback. And there's Jones. There's the leap. There's the touchdown on cue. A replay of the touchdown in the first quarter. Myron Jones with that good vertical leap. Watch, he'll, he'll leap, get in the air about the three yard line, leaps over, and it's outside. The linebackers for the Rebels are over the guards. That goes off the tackle with the ability of Jones to get in the air. It's an easy score. Intercepted. Tony Harris, the senior, the leader back there, the strong safety. And that's a big interception for Harris. That's his score yeah. for the year, tying him with his yeah. teammate Craig Bones for the conference lead. Remember, Charles Price threw this, this pass effectively in the first half, but this time they run the same play. He watches Wills all the time. That's where the freshman with the inexperience watching the receiver all the rebels here. Keep it on the ground. And Rosette breaks into the fray and down to the 26-yard line. Darrell Rosette. I'm still a little surprised by Wayne Nunley and the Rebels' call that their best long yardage play is the fake punt. Huh. And Fresno State can start thinking about Tony Kimbrough. On his entire team, this is a rebuilding team. It's a young team. He's got a redshirt freshman quarterback. He's got a young a young backfield. You look at Key John Murphy. Tonight's had a good game. He'll do nothing but get better. The Fresno State Bulldogs are going back home. The first play Long Beach State. But more importantly, on December 10th, to hook up with the Broncos of Central Michigan. Fresno State wins it 31 to 14. Jim Sweeney and Wayne. We'll have our post-game show after these commercial messages.